Agency, which service? Half naked man running wild in the woods south of Valley Road. Suspect may be armed with a knife. Hello? I'm on my way. Ah, uh, good. You'll need these. Thank you. Right. Okay. One adult male brought up from A&E found four hours ago in Valley Woods. Sprained ankle, minor cuts and abrasions, but no serious injury. But covered in blood and glass. And it looks as if the blood isn't his, but forensics are testing that. Are the casualties? No, not as yet. And the patient's name? Unknown. Supposed amnesia, that's why we called you. He hasn't said a word to anybody, but the nurses have named him John West because of the direction he's going in. Anything else? His medical notes. He has healed scar tissue from old wounds. Some of them appear to be bullet wounds, so the police are checking with the military. Okay, thank you. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Santier. I'm the psychiatric registrar. And you are? Your name? How did you get here? Ambulance. Before then? <laughs> Running. Where? Blood. There was blood. Okay, ten milligrams. No. You need to rest. Look 
she's putting it on. Is that a medical diagnosis? A professional opinion based on 25 years of policing the dregs of society, Doctor. Inspector Barnes, CID. Well, I know a con artist when I see one. And I know when a man is in clinical shock. I've been asked to escort you to a meeting. What kind? Hospital management. Lead the way. Nice of you to join us, Dr. Watson. Sorry. Traffic was horrendous. At this hour of the morning. The police have closed the roads in the valley. I ordered the roadblocks set up in the area where we found our man. Nice. Let's get started. Inspector Barnes, local CID. Colonel Hedingham, Ministry of Defence. Gentlemen, our psychiatric consultant, Dr. Watson. His registrar, Dr. Santa. No identification as yet. We're combing our records. We've had the initial forensic reports back. Now, there were three blood types, his own and two related unknowns. This incident has been coded high alert pending identification. The disarmament conference is imminent. You think John West is a terrorist? It's one option we can't disregard. You alerted the military quickly? Orders, all unusual incidents are to be referred to high above immediately. Initial call from a member of the public mentioned a man running with a knife. He was armed? The caller was mistaken, but we weren't to know that at the time. Did the caller say anything else? Didn't even give his name. As I've said, we've been ordered not to take any chances while security remains on high alert. How is West? Sedated. Incapable of identifying himself. Feigning amnesia. Well, there's no obvious head injury, but emotional trauma can cause amnesia. Does he have access to radio or television? Not in his room. He's sedated. There's a police officer outside his door. So he's not had an opportunity to leave it. Any objection to a military psychiatrist examining him? Do we have a choice? Major Simmons is on his way. He will appreciate your cooperation. Well, I think that's everything covered. I agree, gentlemen. hear something soon. Oh, pardon? The police have sent our man's photograph to all the TV channels. National and local. The amnesiac you admitted. Sorry, I was miles away. You look how I feel. The twins have been awake all bloody night. I was glad to escape. Where's poor Anna escaping to? Bed. I found the agency. They send in a nurse. Consider a father. Consider it bollocks. And it's hard to live with when she hasn't slept. Have dinner with us tonight. Thanks, I have paperwork to catch up on. Liz, you can't keep this up. Major Simmons has arrived. We believe you're one of us, Mr. West. I'm Major Simmons. This is Colonel Heddingham. You are? Let's shed some light on this. Enfield, LA581. SA80. Known as a ball pop SA80 assault rifle, calibre 5.56mm, weight 4.89, including four magazines in sight. Effective range 300 meters, fire 650 to 800 rounds a second. Muscle velocity 940 meters per second. 
It's like capable of semi and full automatic fire. Handy to use. Ideal weapon for guerrilla and anti-terrorist warfare. CRW. Explain. CRW. Gone to revolutionary warfare. Francis Spars 15, 12 gauge, semi-automatic. Range 50 meters, single shot. SSG. 69. Sniper. It's That's enough, Major Simmons. Colonel, Major. I barked in all the right places, but I still don't know my sodding name. I don't blame you for not eating that. What's your favourite food? T-bone steak. Salad. Onion rings. Garlic bread. Sudden questions part of the technique. They can occasionally kickstart the memory. permission. Don't bother. I know what the answer will be. Do you prefer the countryside or the city? Would you like tea? There might be cake. I don't like sweet things. Apart from dark chocolate. Everyone says they can't leave a bar inside. Everyone? I don't know why I said that. It's a thin veil. We'll tear it down. We. Oui. I'm on my way to a military facility. Not if you want to stay here. The decision was made when I saluted those officers, Dr. Santa. You took your time, Dr. Santa. John was distressed. Colonel Haddingham is taking custody of our patient. You're arresting John? Protective custody. Every private NCO and officer in the armed services fitting his description has been accounted for. As has every man between the age of 26 and 40 who've left the services within the last 10 years. Whoever West is, he's not a past or present member of our armed forces. Inspector Barnes has confirmed that his fingerprints are not on the records. So he's not a criminal? Not on the record. You can't take a man into custody because he has amnesia. Neither can we discount the possibility that he's a terrorist. Until we find out who he is, he will be detained in a secure unit. That's monstrous. National security is paramount, Dr. Santa. West may look, talk and act like a British officer, but his mannerisms and diction could be the result of terrorist training. The police guard will be replaced by military personnel until transfer. You will, of course, be furnished with the necessary documentation. Explain. CRW. Counter revolutionary warfare. Counter revolutionary warfare. Liz, he's not our patient anymore. Didn't you hear it? John's accent. English? Middle class? The Welsh lilt. Liz, I'm on your side. The men in brass buttons aren't. They're moving him out in an hour. In an hour, I could know who he is. He might remember. You can't seriously think John's a terrorist. I think it's time we were in clinic. Can you manage without me just this once? I'll give you half an hour. Bless you. 
John, I want you to look at these. Postcards. I don't know anyone to send one to. Please look at them. Cardiff. Swansea. Brecon. That's the castle that was left of it. John. Michael. Captain Challoner reporting for duty, sir. Very good. Captain Challoner will take it from here now, Inspector. There's a promenade that runs alongside the river. It's pretty but crowded in summer. Wellington statue by the Wellington pub. St Mary's Church, the, the hook on the side of the church they used to hang people. OK, Dave, we're so close. Then. I'm about to be moved. Shot in John's room. We're on our way. Overseeing the evacuation of patients and staff. We've covered the perimeter and exits. West isn't getting out. Challoner, make sure that he doesn't. Pass down the command, shoot to kill. Sir? That's an order, Captain. We can't afford another dead soldier. Shoot on my command only. Who sent him? I don't know. Take off your coat. Hostage situation, hold your fire. Clear the area! Clear the area. Elizabeth! Hostage situation. We have lost visual on the target. All units search buildings and grounds in vicinity of Ward 2. Move.
Michael Burns patient. County? Critical burns patient transfer into county with military escort. Do not stop at the gate. Repeat, do not stop at the gate. You never lost your memory, did you? It's like the dark chocolate. 
don't know how I know. I just know. I'll be right here. Get some sleep. You're not living up to your commanding officer's appraisal of you, Chaloner. Any sightings? None, sir. A box of photographs of Welsh towns was found in West's room. The ward sister said Dr. Santa used them to prompt patients' memories. It's possible she succeeded. The Brecon file was out. I've ordered a search of the town. Discreet search, I trust. Civilians can be very peculiar about military presence, even when we're there to protect them. One thing's for certain, West has long gone from here. There's no point in us remaining. I want you to set up a new command center, Chaloner. Pawi's headquarters is as good as anywhere. Report any sightings. Simmons, accompany Chaloner. Our man may need a shrink if he's taken alive. Come. Stand easy, Sergeant. Sir. Keep in close contact. Sir. You've organized the Brecon operation, Sergeant? Yes, sir. But the men are trainees. They're not up to much. You say that about every intake. Even the one I came in on. I found some women's clothes. Something might fit you. Bathroom. I know a man nicknamed John West because he was running in a westly direction. Is wanted to assist police with their inquiries in connection with six murders. Three dead soldiers, privates Sean Thomas and Rhys Jones, Corporal Andrew Edwards, Nurse Julie Adams, David Watson, consultant psychiatrist, all died from gunshot wounds. Paramedic Joe Benedict was found shot dead in the back of an ambulance. West was apprehended last night after police received an ominous call from a member of the public saying he was armed with a knife. West is yet to be identified by police who say they are not ruling out terrorism. He was admitted to hospital and diagnosed with amnesia by Dr. Elizabeth Santa, who is presumed to have been taken hostage. Members of the public are warned not to approach West. If cited, please call 999. We'll have more on the top story at the end of the programme. In other news today, the They've had nothing to do with you. The paramedic was fine when we left. Am I next? I'd say run as fast and as far away from me as you can. But that still might not be enough to keep you alive. He can't have disappeared into thin air, sir. He has brandy and hypothermia blankets. He's holed up, sir. Stuff and nonsense. You don't want to admit that he slipped through your net. We've searched the beacons, sir. Wherever he is, he's not on the move. I want you to extend the search 20 miles from the point where he last jumped. Simmons, liaise with local police, contact national forces. You were close to Dave Watson. Dave 
worked with him for three years. He was so special. His wife's just had twins. You married? I was. He was killed last year. We can't change the past. But as the saying goes, if you don't eat, you'll be no use to anyone. Where's that come from? Given my saluting skills, I'd say it's an old army adage. This place, who does it belong to? I don't know. There's children's drawings on the wall. If we look, maybe we'll find something. After everything I've done to you, you want to help me? Given the trailer bodies, I have a feeling it wouldn't last long without you. Do you recognise anything? It feels familiar, but... I don't feel like any of it's mine. Not even the pictures? It's furnished like a second home or a holiday let. Are you saying it's useless in looking? Maybe. Maybe not. There must be something here that will tell us who you are. Do you remember the photograph of Brecken I showed you? You said Michael. Didn't you see the plaque as we walked down the lane? We're in St Michael Street. Well, there must be a connection between you and this place. What's the first thing you remember? Running in the woods. Further back. <sighs> Nothing. We could try hypnosis. I'm not a good subject. How would you know? Same way I know to steal cars and use guns. You drove straight here. You knew where the key was kept. You must know someone in the town. You're suggesting we do those two inquiries? If we go out after dark, you might recognise something. Given the media coverage, I wouldn't get as far as the corner. I can't go out. But you can. I'm not the one who needs a memory jolt. You could buy some things. I'll give you a list. And what if someone recognises me? We'll make sure they don't. Colonel Headingham wants an update. We're not fully set up. Information's just come in, sir. You for? Well, that depends on how you looked at it, sir. All nations are downsizing military. Casting highly trained operatives adrift. Experts in espionage, sabotage, assassination. Relevance price. Brass has reason to believe, sir, that NATO ex-military are training these operatives for Middle East terrorists. Operatives, sir, who could be sent into the disarmament conference. Even ex-military operatives have to eat. Do we have proof of this? No confirmation, sir, but neither can the hypothesis be ruled out. And in the meantime? I have all available men on the ground, sir.
John. Where did you get this from? Turn left when you leave the yard. Left at the road. You see the shop. Okay. I'll see you soon. a long time. I bought food. Plenty in the freezer. No steak. To get things asked for. Yes. We might need them. Found your helmet. Do I look like a biker? So I won't be the first woman to ride on the back of your bike? It would be so. Is there a risk of me going out? Aside from the obvious? If your memory returns, there's no predicting how you'll react. I hate motorbikes. You ever been on one? You're asking me to storm the place on the basis of information received. I understand you're giving me a direct order. No, sir. Yes, sir. Sighting? We've been given an address in St. Michael's Street. Heading in wants us to storm the place tonight. recognize anything in the way? I could draw you a map of this town. I know every street. And this pub. Two lagers, please. So when would you come here? After walking in the mountains, canoeing the river. You're thinking of the equipment in the carriage. So I got to go. Excuse me. Can you help me, please? That depends what it is, miss. I used to know someone who lived on St. Michael's Street. Oh, accountants took over all those buildings ten years back. 
or converted it into a bloody awful offices and flats they did. Not old man Davis's place they did. That's still a house. Sure now? Yes, I'm sure. I spoke to Sue. I, I don't know. Who owns it now? Oh, holiday let. Just like everything else around here. No, it isn't. It's a big old it house. No, old man Davis's place is owned by his grandson. Oh. Yes. We need to go. OK, thank you. Come and go. John, are you all right? We can do better than this. I prefer Spanish red to French red. That's strange. I can remember that. I can't even remember my name. I know. Let's try hypnosis. If I go crazy, lock me in here and run. Just relax. Place your hands by your side. Sink your head deep into the pillow. Push your hands against the floor. Close your eyes. Just relax. Where are you? What's... What are you doing? Well... Drift back. Half an hour. One hour. back. Where are you? Brecon. John? Not John. I was in pain. What kind of pain? Unbearable. There was a hand. With a gun. Your hand? No. It was a scar. Puckered like a centipede. Did you see a face? I thought when I reached here I'd find answers. So many dead. Not because of you. Did I kill those people in the hospital? Did you? I have no memory of doing so. I can't remember. When you least expect it, you will remember. Your memory will return. You're my patient. You're my hostage. 
I'm going to have a bath. And then I'm going to bed. I suggest you do the same. Looks like you screwed up again, Chaloner. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I believe they're on a motorbike, sir. Together, really? It would appear so, yes. Yes, it would also appear he's got the best of you again, wouldn't it? West has claimed another victim. You can issue the press release, Captain. Sir. He talked in his sleep last night. It sounded like Arabic. Look at it. 
nothing but bloody sheep. Well, he could be hiding among them. Sheep run a bloody mile if anyone goes near him. If he ate metal last night and nicks a car, he'll be in London by now. Why would anyone want to go there? No, don't think. Come for a fifth bag? No! Get a move on! Bloody squaddies. Arabic, you sure? I only recognized it because we have two Arab doctors in the hospital. I could be mistaken. I never should have involved you in this. I could be a terrorist. I'm someone who works with intelligence services. They would have hauled me in by now. I'm sorry, sir, but no way. We'd have spotted him if he crossed Penn Van. We've had patrols there all day. Perhaps he stole a car. I checked. Organize a house to house search. Talib wants as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
West arrived in London from Frankfurt five days ago. He's traveling on a forged Chilean passport in the name of John Arisman. It's believed he's been briefed to infiltrate the conference. Harrisman's definitely West, sir. No doubt about it, according to intelligence. I just wish we could be more certain than believed he's about to infiltrate. Still, we can only go on the information we've been given. Your brief, Chaloner? Yes, sir. He's still out. Hmm. Media conference has been called for this morning. Can I state that we're confident that West will soon be apprehended? Are you okay, sir? Mm. Perfectly well priced, thank you for asking. I enjoy spending the odd night tied up in a basement. We found the vehicle, sir. If you went out fully loaded... Which I did. Then there's some items of survival kit missing, sir. We've contacted HQ. Oh, good. I'm sure they're amused. Not at all, sir. He could have gone anywhere from here. Llandavri, Astragunlais, Merthyr. Or he could have gone to ground. You think he may have returned to Brecon, sir? I haven't a bloody clue, Sergeant. Ma'am, thank you for your kind hospitality and the delicious breakfast. I am so sorry to have troubled you. You're welcome. Hey, Captain, when you find him, ask him did he enjoy the pasta. We could have got six lunches out of that. Hungry? Yes, I'm starving. I'm afraid to ask where this has come from. There was a Mercedes in the drive. They can stand the loss. You do realise sooner or later they'll catch up with us. You've managed to avoid them so far. They've been stupid. We've been lucky. You can't be thinking of giving up. On my terms. What if I wasn't with you? I should never have dragged you into this. Well, you did, and we're here. What happened between us? I should never have touched you. Do you regret it? I might, if I knew who I was. We could try hypnosis again. Later.
Where are you? Street. Uh, hey, Clidges. How are you? Okay. okay, young lady. Your move. Well done. Head of security at the conference is an incredible honour. How do you know about the job? The colonel in your regiment told me when he helped me find this place. You shouldn't know that. It should be me here helping you. Hey, I got you guys some gifts. <laughs> well, aren't you a lucky girl? Thank you. Some for you. From me? Oh, thank you. Richard, this must have cost a fortune. <laughs> It's okay if I grab a quick shower. You've got five minutes, go on. Okay. By the time I come back, you need to major move again. Known photographs of John Arisman, five foot ten, green eyes, short black hair, no distinguishing features. Linguist mercenary, military trained. This is our man. He's killed seven, including three of our own. Shoot on sight. Dismissed. With respect, sir, you didn't sleep last night. The men are fresh. You are wounded, Sergeant. <laughs> Our man jumped here. We had 200 men out within the hour and came up with nothing. Yesterday we searched this area. In the early hours, he's here. Aside from me, no one's seen him or Dr. Santa since they jumped from the ambulance. Between what Wes took from the pub and my vehicle, he can hold up to days. He has gone to ground. Given the lack of sightings, I'd say less than an hour's walk from where he dumped my transport. He knows we'll soon have orders to move the search on. All he has to do is sit tight till he sees us pull out. What's our strength? 40 men. Eight NCOs, including me. Four officers, including yourself, sir. 13 four-man patrols. We concentrate on a five-mile area from where he left the transport. Move out on the 10. It's okay, it's all fair. You're safe. I saw the hand with the scar again. There was a bullet. Blood. Did you see a face? 
Nah. I'm going. This time you're not coming with me. I need you to be safe. You think I'd be safe without you? As safe as Dave, the paramedic, the soldiers, they're all dead. He's on, yeah? Okay. I'm just going to take a look around, okay? Okay, boys, fan out. I want a hundred yards sweep. Go. Two things. Dr. Santa's safety, an entrance into HQ. Not a problem. John! I thought I said to stay with a kid. I know too much to be left behind. I'm coming with you. There are six dead. Seven. Give us a moment. Whatever happens, I'm sorry, I've got you into this. I can't close you. Call off search. John West is in my custody. We transport and driver immediately to pick up point grid reference. Dr. Santa, good to see you looking so well. Major Simmons. Dr. Santa, may I offer you an escort to more comfortable quarters? I haven't travelled this far with John to abandon him now. Well done, Chaloner. I'll take it from here. You'll be called if you're needed. Sir, the prisoner surrendered to me on condition I remain with him during debriefing. You are not authorised to grant conditions, Chaloner. Dismissed! With due respect, sir. 
Not until the prisoner has been debriefed. Are you disobeying a direct order, Chaloner? Sir, I've already questioned the prisoner. This man is a psychopath, responsible for the deaths of at least seven men that we know of. He hasn't killed anyone. Dr. Santa, don't you recognize your own symptoms? You have Stockholm Syndrome. Well done, Colonel McKenna. Head of security at the conference is an incredible honor. How do you know about the job? The colonel in your regiment told me. You shouldn't know that. Situation under control. Two wounded. <coughs> Three dead. My name's Richard McKenna. Colonel McKenna. But you know that. There'll be an investigation. Not by you. Get court martialed for this, Chaloner. You'll get 30. Who's taken my place as Chief Security Advisor to the conference? Who's taken my place? Harrisman. You paid a mercenary. How many of the delegates are to be assassinated? All. Oh. Why? This conference will destroy our armed forces. Its politicians are bent on dismantling our defences. They think they can fight wars by remote control. <laughs> they think they can fight battles by television. <laughs> the names of all involved. We can do this all night.
Masters. Who's Masters? My controller. He appointed me security advisor to the conference. I persuaded Masters to appoint you. <laughs> I didn't recruit him. He's too much of a coward for that. Why me? Qualifications, experience, <laughs> and you fitted a general description. We look alike. No. You've been in the Middle East for three years. No one's seen you recently. Like all the people I came into contact with. Collateral damage. How did it feel towards the killing of an unarmed woman and child hitting them? I didn't kill them. Your man fired the bullets. Your wife rented a property. It was a chance we couldn't take. Where are the bodies of my wife and child? Price. Buried them in the garden. How many on that list are stationed here? One captain, two lieutenants, Sergeant Price, four corporals, six privates, including the three dead. are making their way home from the International Arms Conference, which has been hailed as a great success. The Prime Minister praised the security arrangements. Come in. Dr. Santa. How is John? No one will tell me anything. The man you know as John West is being taken good care of. I trust your leg has healed. It has. I didn't need to be kept here for a week. Yeah, our doctors wanted to ensure that you'd recovered mentally as well as physically from your ordeal. I'm a psychiatrist. So you appreciate their thoroughness? John believed he'd be killed as soon as he was taken into custody. Colonel McKenna is not in custody. If he's not in custody, why can't I see him? He's traumatised. He witnessed the murder of his wife and child. He is receiving medical attention, Dr. Sensor. You are aware we can't release you until you've signed the Official Secrets Act. I won't sign anything until I see him. John West was shot while resisting arrest. Any resemblance between Colonel McKenna and John West will be assumed to be coincidental. What about arrestment? For your own safety, please, forget that name. I'm not at liberty to say anything more than has been released to the media. The disarmament conference was a success. And Colonel Hedingham? Has resigned his commission on medical grounds. Dr. Santa, please come with me. You have forms to fill in. I won't sign anything until I see John. Okay, come on.
No effort will be spared to fully rehabilitate him. You'll receive compensation for the distress you've suffered. May I talk to him? I regret that's impossible. Please. As soon as I have a fix on his location, you'll be the first to know. Twenty-four-seven surveillance files for the past year. How did you get this? Don't ask. Since she left here, she's been living like a nun. Home to hospital, hospital to home. Thank you.